The next thing that's part of our principles as constitutional conservatives is a quality education. We do not need cultural Marxism. We do not need indoctrination happening in our schools. What our schools are supposed to be doing is teaching you to be productive members of society, training up your mind so you can go out and understand what you can do to have a prosperous life. But instead, they're trying to indoctrinate you. There is a war on each and every one of you, our children in the United States of America, and parents, grandparents, adults, we have got to stand and fight for our children in this day and age. When we hear about what is happening in our schools, and thank God, the one good thing about COVID was that kids had to be at home and the parents had to be at home and parents finally saw the garbage that their kids were being indoctrinated with. Not a quality education, but an unqualified indoctrination. And that's why I tell people the most important elected position in the United States of America is school board. Not president, it's not senator, it's not governor, it's school board. Because that's how we affect the future generations. That's how we make sure that you become the leaders now and the leaders for the future. Math, science, civics, history, those are the crux, those are the foundations that we need to be teaching to each and every one of you. And we need to listen to you when you come home and you tell us, or when you tell Yaf, here's a problem that I have in my high school, such as in Garland High School, I live in Garland, Texas, and when they told the Yaf chapter that wanted to have a, a, an organization, they couldn't have it. You could have all other kind of different clubs, but they couldn't have the Yaf chapter. Well, guess what the old colonel did? <laughs> the old colonel went to social media, the old colonel stood up and spoke up, and within two weeks, they had the YAF chapter at Garland High School. That's what we must do.